Can I offer you a piece of cheese in these trying times? We're going to Flavortown. I kid you not, I once watched someone in this game eat a whole tub of mayo. And that's all I really have to say about that. Thank you everyone for coming in to our second episode of Aggressively Mediocre Raids. Today we are continuing to slog through the Tarkov early game, trying to increase trader levels by doing quests, trying to hit that elusive level 20 to get flea market, to hopefully uh, open up for some fun raids later on, maybe a PvP week, maybe a boss hunting or cultist hunting week. Uh, but for now, we are hitting the early game, trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Uh, and without further ado, let's make it happen. Okay, we're back on customs because I did remember that, and by remember, I mean I googled it, <laughs> that you can find the machinery key, second floor of three-story dorms, uh, brown jacket, uh, guaranteed spawn. So we are going to, uh, we're going to go for that. After, of course, we loot. <laughs> loot is greater than everything. I've never opened this door? I see now that I should have. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Man, I never find intelligence folder. This is the only room I go into that I've ever found an intelligence folder spawn. Uh, I don't run reserve often. I don't run labs often. So finding that makes me very happy. 218. That actually might be a good key. Someone's coming up on us. Is it actually a scav? It Was a scav. SKS is nice, ma'am. <laughs> the mayo. I kid you not, I once watched someone in this game eat a whole tub of mayo. Sicko. I uh, was to get the dehydration down for, <laughs> for one of the quests. Could that be Rashala's guys over there? Boom, perfect. Yeah. Going to Flavor Town with this mask on. Another machinery key. Outside of marked room, show me show me a room on customs that's as good as UMR, Kiba. Uh, oh, crap. Ow. Obviously, these custom scavs take offense to the fact that I don't like their map. There's two of them. There's a second one down that way.
<laughs> Even when the scav's in active combat. Hmm, should I just look around? Yes, I think I shall. I thought there was a second one. Maybe not. Sniper scav? No. <laughs> Boom. Quest item. Let's be careful for a potential second scav over here. Oh my word, there's been a murder! What do we think, PMC? Yeah, I hear the, the Russian yelling. Got him. Nice. I love how our first, like, four raids here, we see, like, half a scav per raid. And now, ooh, that's interesting. And now, so we don't need that anymore, actually. And now we, uh, we can't stop running into scavs. I'm telling you, man, though, this SKS is, is uh, putting in the business. Nice. Okay, hey. Great raid, quest done, kills, loot, gear, uh, perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better raid. Well, we could always ask for a better raid. <laughs> we could have asked to kill Rashal and him have a red key card in his pocket, but within the confines of reality, I think that was uh, as good of a raid as we could have hoped for. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> We can't get more than two kills on scavs in the first bunch of raids, and then, whoop, casual seven. It's the SKS. Okay, so we're looking for Salewas here. We're looking for food for Jaeger's quest, and we're looking for scav kills. Uh, secret bonus objective that I've added. I would love to kill Sturman, <laughs> just because I love fighting bosses. And um, I think with the SKS, if we uh, if we aim for the head, we could we could probably get him. So when fighting Sturman, oh god, we're dead. I don't, know, I don't think he's here. I think we would have gotten shot if he was here. I always like to uh, go into the covered building. It's just uh, it's just such like a better place to fight him. I don't think he's here. Interesting. Crazy that I can't carry a serve kit in my... What? No, it's a regular... That's something up there. CMS kit we can carry. Nice. Can't lose focus in the middle of combat, Mr. Scav, and expect to live. Third time's the charm. Yep, there we go. Please don't. 
to shotgun. Let's pursue him through the trees. Hopefully he doesn't... Uh, if we get one tap by a scab right now, I'd be very sad. But we do have a quest to kill these folks. Sorry, man. Oh, it's a VPO, not a Taz. Interesting. Or not a shotgun. Explains why he didn't kill me. Those shotgun scabs are lethal. Um, and that's all I really have to say about that. So we're going close to Lumber Mill again. Because, again, I want to hit the... Uh, mini Kiba. A lot of times it's been looted. A lot of times people don't know that there's like the ammo back there and we could get some good ammo which uh, considering we can't buy any good ammo uh, it, it, I mean it's huge for us I would say early in the No sir Yes Another one Can't really see him He's a shotgun scav. I would love to take this, but this just is so much uh, more space. I need this engagement to end. The longer this goes on, the bigger a chance he's going to just hit us with one pellet in the face. Nice. Ah, there's two over here. Interesting. I don't know that we killed this AK one. I would prefer the AK over the shotgun. The problem is, like... We can't really carry the mags. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that we could, like, just kick out here. But one thing I've noticed is that once an item goes into the bag, once it goes into my inventory, it's harder to take it out than it is. Like, there are times where, like, I'll keep something simply because it's already in my inventory, even if normally I wouldn't pick it up. Are you, uh, are you up? Not anymore, you ain't. Let's get rid of the serve kit, actually. And let's, let's take this. Let's take the potato. We're taking the beret, too, for fashion reasons. These scavs are everywhere, and I'm l absolutely loving it at the moment. Surprised we didn't run into any PMCs this raid. Admittedly, I'm not, unlike, I guess, when on, on my main account, I would uh, be going for PMCs more. But when we're just starting out, PMCs are tough to kill, in my opinion. They're tough to kill. And so uh, when we're just trying to go for quests, trying to get loot, we've got a good amount of quest items in our backpack. Why risk it? It's, it's funny. Uh, maybe not funny, but I would not consider myself a huge PvPer in this game. And yet I would say every wipe. And I usually stop. Uh, I don't play the full wipe. Uh, we end up with uh, 700 to 1,000 PMC kills. Um, just because we go to high tier loot areas. And uh, spoiler alert, other PMCs go there too. But that was a good raid. That was a good raid. No two ways about it. We uh, killed a bunch of scavs, quest items, 
loot, gear. We got seven. Very nice. Headshots. Headshots are dead shots, baby. It's crazy to think that if this was last wipe, we're like we're like closing in on level ten, which would be flea market. But given that it's now level twenty, we're nowhere near it. Like we're still 50, 70, 100 raids away from getting the uh, the flea market. It's crazy. It's a it's like a it's like a huge difference. Uh, I heard Pestley say it takes about five times more experience points to go from level ten to twenty than it did from one to ten. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. Okay, once again we are here to kill scavs, get food. And, um, a slay while if we can find it. So we're going to go to container for it first. Hopefully no PMCs are there. But the secret uh, optional goal is always, can we kill Sturman? Can we? Yes. Will we? Stay tuned. We'll at least check for him. We'll, I, I always will check for the scav boss. Hey. Oh, ah, nice shot. Nice shot. Ah, we heard him. You heard him heavy breathing. It's a shame. I thought if we could have pushed him with the pistol, it wasn't meant to be. Um, okay. Ooh. We'll run out in the open. If we die, I would like it to be acknowledged that I'm aware that we're running out in the open and should probably deserve to get shot for it. Now, here, here's a question. When you get a big quest item or you're running for a quest and you get that quest item, are you... Do you immediately ex go for extract, or do you still, like, run the raid as if you're still trying to hit other- Woo! That's him! If we die, I would like it to be acknowledged that I'm aware that we're running out in the open and should probably deserve to get shot for it. If we could not die on, um, on this map- that would be cool. Or in Lumber Mill. Now, we could just not go to Lumber Mill, but that's where Sturman is. And he's a scav, and we have to kill scavs. Honestly, not, on, if there's a person, like, if there's a PMC legitimately sniping, we're going to get killed pretty quickly. Which, yep, yeah, look at that right ahead of us. Two man. Saw me. Yeah. He must have good ammo. All right. We are back at it on woods. Uh, I must be a glutton for punishment coming back here after uh, how our last couple raids have gone. Um, but. The way I see it, there is no way we can die four times in a row at Lumber Mill, right? Can't, can't be four. Three's the limit. So, actually, we might uh, be a little bit more aggressive here. Obviously, we don't have a, a sniping scope, right? No, we can snipe with a red dot, right? Okay, but we're approaching here. What? Please, no. So it turns out we can die four times. That was definitely the boss. How much you want to bet? Sturman or, or a Svet Luskoy? I've, I've never seen him spawn out there. Um, ouch. He just he put us down real quick. That's a, a very common ammo type we're seeing. Thank you to everyone uh, for watching this video. Uh, it really means a lot. 
unfortunately a tough end there after uh, some promising raids up front. But uh, next week we will continue to grind through on some of these quests. Try to have a little bit more success and uh, of course continue to have some fun. As always, if you guys want to join us live on our stream, the link is in the description below. And uh, I hope to see everyone there. Here comes, here comes, this is the real game now. It's Tarkov Tetris. I just like to whip out the compass just to, you know, show that I have it without completing the proper quest. Kind of a big deal. People talk about my compass. 